Good morning, pre-Ks. Come on in. Find a spot you like a lot. One, two, three. Find a spot you like a lot. Listen to me. Find a spot you like a lot. Three, two, one. Find a spot you like a lot. We'll have some fun. The last time I saw you was Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. The last time I saw you was Tuesday. But that's not today. The sun goes down and comes up on a brand new day. Do you know what comes after Tuesday? If not, we can sing the seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in the school week. There's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The S yes days indeed. Today's the day comes after Tuesday, did you say? Wednesday, you were correct. Whoa, 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 Wednesday. Whoa, 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 Wednesday. Whoa, whoa, Wednesday. Smack in the middle of the week. Yes, it's Wednesday. Whoa, 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 Wednesday. Wednesday, smack in the middle of the week. Happy Wednesday to you. I hope if you're celebrating Passover, Passover, you're having a wonderful Seder at your house with your family. So many fun things happening this week at Pied Piper School. Today is Wednesday. What month are we in? We're in that rainy month of April. Those April showers, they come your way. They bring the flowers that bloom in May. So don't cry in April, even though there's a lot of rain. And today, it's really pouring out there. I don't know what it's doing at your house, but I'm definitely adding a rainy day card. And even thunder and lightning. Oh my goodness, very, very frightening. Lots going on outside. But that's going to help those April flower, May flowers grow, and we're going to be counting those rainy days this month. Maybe we'll meet, beat the record of 15. Remember, Kathy told you we're going to start the three-letter cards this week. Oh, boy, I love three-letter cards. Three letters in these new families. Let's check it out. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, mix it, mix it up. We're gonna mix them high, mix them low, mix them behind my back. Mix and mix and mix and mix them up. We're gonna mix and mix and mix and mix and mix and mix them up. Ooh, we have a three letter family. A three letter family. A three letter family. A T E is a three letter family. Remember that E is silent? Some letters make noise, some are silent. Some make sounds, some are silent. That E is silent, but it gives its vowel power to the letter A, so the A says its name, eight. The eight family. There's gate with a G, late with an L, crate, C-R, plate, P-L, date with a D, and skate with an S-K in the A-K-E family. There's gate and late and crate, and date, and skate, and plate in the A-K-E family. Yeah, we're doing the three-letter families now. How much fun. Well, we had a lot of fun doing the Seder and talking about Passover. And we had a lot of fun making the matzah cake with Colette and doing our Jeopardy about Passover. Today we're starting a new unit. I bet you know what it is. If you watch the music video, work, work, work. Everybody's got to work. Some in the day, some in the night. Work, work, work. There's bills to pay. That's right. We're talking about occupations. Now, usually this week at Pied Piper School, we invite the parents in. They come in to talk to us about the work they do at the their office or wherever they go to the city or maybe to the mall or maybe to a school building they come in and talk to us but we can't do that this year because of social distancing we can't all be together to hear what the moms and dads have to say so we have a new plan and it's up to you you're going to find out what your mom and dad do to make money for the family what kind of work they do by asking some important questions and we're going to be practicing those questions today at Pied Piper School. So let's first talk about why they have to work. Now right now many of them are working from home. Some are still going out to their job, but many are doing their work from their house. So you might know a little bit more about what they do. You can't tell what they wear because they're not leaving the house. They might do their work
work in their pajamas. Who knows? But you might be able to figure out more about what they do by watching them and listening if they let you while they're working inside the house. But why do moms and dads have to work anyway? Wouldn't it be nice to just stay in your pajamas? S days all over the place. Well, that wouldn't be very good for the world because we need so many different kinds of jobs and occupations out there to help us. So why do they have to work? Hmm. Well, there's some things in your house that you need, and that's why moms and dads work. They work to do, give you all the things that you need. So let's find out what kinds of things you need. Well, that's not going to work. Hmm. Let's move that back. Okay. Is that better? Sometimes it's hard to get just the perfect view. Let's find out why they have to work and work so hard. Well, there's some things in your life that you need. And let's see if you can figure out what they are. Hmm. This is the place where you live. It's where you sleep and where you eat. What do you think it is? Where do you live? In a house. If you said house, you are right. Mom and dad work to pay money for that house. It costs money to live in a house. It's not free. Whether you rent it or you own it, you need to have a house to live in. Otherwise, you'd be living in a box, and that wouldn't be fun at all. So a house, that's one reason moms and dads work. Hmm, what's another reason? What'd you have for breakfast? Did you have a bowl of cereal? Did you have an apple? Did you have bananas? What did you have this morning? You had food, and you're going to need it again at lunch. You're going to need it again at dinner, and probably snacks throughout the day. Mom and dad work for money for food. Mom and dad work for money for your house. Now, hmm, houses and food, what else do you need? Well, do you have a nice bed to sleep in? I think you do. Me too. Do you have a TV to watch? I hope so, because you're watching Kathy on TV or an iPad. There's a lot of furniture in your house, your refrigerator, your kitchen table, lots of things that are in your house that moms and dads bought too with the money they get at work. Now, when you're going to the grocery store or you have to go out somewhere, what do you drive in? You take a car. Mom and dad bought that car for you. They paid a lot of money. And when that car needs fuel, they have to put gasoline in that tank, right? They have to go to the gas station. You need a car to get around. You need furniture, you need food, you need a house. What do you play with all day long? What kinds of things are in your house? You probably have balls and outdoor toys and indoor toys and iPads. Sure, you have all kinds of fun things at your house. Power Rangers, um, Barbie dolls, all kinds of toys at your house. Sure, Paw Patrol Lookout. Oh, I'll try to draw that. Uh, I don't know, that's not a very good lookout. All kinds of toys. These are things that moms and dads work hard for every single day. Your house, and in your house, there's electricity and heat and air conditioning, right? All of your food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The furniture that you sit on and use. Your car and the gas and the things that you play with all come from mom and dad's hard work. When you grow up, you'll be doing some hard work too for your family. Right now, your work is to be a student and to get as much information into your head, whether it's at school here at Pipe Piper like we did before, or it's at home online learning. All those things are so important for you to keep growing and getting smarter so when you get older you can have a job. Now today we have a guessing game. Kathy's going to give you some clues about some occupations and you have to use that brain of yours to figure out what job I'm talking about. Are you ready? All right, these are some of the WH questions you're gonna be asking your mom and dad too next Monday when we do our career day here at Pied Piper School. Remember, questions begin with WH words and the first question you're gonna ask is what do you wear? What do you wear on your body when you go to work? I always wear my Pied Piper shirt and I try to look nice. I'm a teacher, I want you to pay attention to me. I try to have something on my wrist or around my neck to get your attention. I'm a teacher, so this is what I wear, but if your mom and dad are not teachers, they're gonna wear something different. But this person that I'm thinking of has to wear some kind of protection, right now especially. They sometimes have to cover their mouth and their nose and their whole body to keep their body safe. Hmm, that's clue number one. What do you think it is? Question number two, what do they do? What do they do? You're gonna be asking your parents that. The person I'm thinking about works very hard to help people. Their job is to help people. That's clue number 
too. They help people. All right, get all the clues together. Where do they do it? Well, some people drive around to do it, this job. Some people do it in a great big building with lots of rooms in it. Some people do it in an office. That's clue number three. Protective clothes, likes to help people, works lots of different places. Clue number four. What do they see when they're doing their job? Hmm, I see children when I do my job, but this person sees lots of different kinds of people. Old people, young people, big people, small people, all kinds of people. Hmm, that's clue number four. Hmm. Number five, what hours do they work? Now I'm a teacher, so I work during the day, but this profession, this occupation, they can work at night. Some people have to work at night when we're sleeping, or they can work during the day. Hmm, clue number five. One more clue. What kind of education do you need to do this job? For some jobs, you have to go to school for a long time, and some people love school. Some people don't want to be to sc at school forever. Some jobs, you don't have to go to school for a long time. You can go learn things for a shorter period of time, then go practice while you do it. But this job, you have to go to school for a long time. You have to know lots of things about inside people's bodies and outside people's bodies. All right, put all those clues together. Protective clothing to keep them safe. They work days and nights in a building or an office, sometimes even in a school. They see all different kinds of people and they have to go to school for a long time. Did you say someone who's a doctor or a nurse? Yes, indeed. Then you were correct. People that are in the medical profession, they're going to be covered, especially now, from head to toe to protect them from germs. Doctors and nurses, people who drive the ambulance, people who take your temperature at the doctor's office. These people are in the medical profession. Do you know who they were? Did you know who they were? They work in a hospital or a doctor's office or drive an ambulance or paramedics. They're all people who help keep us safe. They take your x-rays. They take your blood. These are people in the medical profession. And right now, they're still working very hard to keep us all safe. We're saying thank you. Thank you to the people in the medical profession for keeping us safe here at Pipe Piper School. And there are our mystery guests today. Tomorrow there'll be more. But we'll play a quick game. Um, these are people in your neighborhood. Take a look. Who do you think this person is? Sometimes you can tell who people are just by looking at them. Look at what they're wearing. Look at their clothing. Look what they're carrying. Did you say a mail carrier? Yes, they're still out there working now too. Thank you, mail carriers. They're bringing us things we need from Target and other stores. They're delivering food to your doorstep. Wow, the mail carriers, they're doing a great job. Take a look at this person. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Look at that person. They're dressed all in white. They have something on their head. Yep, they don't want to get food in Hair in their food, they're cooks. They're still working hard now too. Cooking us food, you can go pick it up. They'll bring it right to your car. They're delivering food to hospitals for all our medical professional workers. Wow, they're still working. And how about this one? Overalls, right? And oh yeah, there's a tire. Oh, they're fixing it. The car repair people are still working too in case your car breaks down and you have to get to work like our medical professionals and our mail carriers and our postal workers. So they're out there still fixing cars. Thank you to all those workers who are still working for us. And today's story is the doctor. People who help us, the doctor. Let's get you all set up so you can see. You might have to go to your big screen because sometimes the books are a little bit smaller. Kathy's trying to get it up close as I can. The Doctor. This is by Amanda Askew. Pictures by Andrew Krausen. The Doctor. And that was our mystery guest today. Doctors and nurses and paramedics and x-ray technicians and all those people in the medical field. Meet Dr. Amar. He's a doctor. He helps to make sick people feel better. When Dr. Amar arrives at his office, Tanya's there. Tanya looks after the office and makes sure that everything is ready for when the first patients come in. Here's your mail. Thanks, Tanya. Dr. Amar goes into his office. He has a desk, chairs, bookshelves, and an examination table. He looks at his computer to check which patients he will see today, so he is ready. 
Dr. Amar's first patient is Rosie. She has a sore throat and a fever. Your throat's very red with yellow spots. You'll have to take a few days off from school and take some pink medicine, but then you'll feel better. Dr. Amar prints out a prescription from the computer and hands it to Rosie's dad. Please get this medicine from the pharmacy. CVS is where you can get it. Next, Edward comes in. He's been getting headaches when he watches television or reads the newspaper. Dr. Amar gives him an eye test. A, T, F, Y. The others are kind of blurry, he says. I'd like you to visit the optometrist. The optometrist will help you if you need glasses. Then you'll be able to see better, and it will get rid of all those headaches. Dr. Amar sees about 15 people in the morning, but not everyone is ill. Last week, Jane fell off her bicycle and cut her arm. She came back to see Dr. Amar today to check that her arm was healing properly. It's looking good, says the doctor. I'll put a clean bandage on it again next week. Next, Rory and his younger brother come in for a checkup. Rory's five years old. He's going to kindergarten. Hello, Rory. Step on the scales for me. You weigh 40 pounds. That's 18 kilograms. You're growing just the way you should. Rory's brother is three years old. Dr. Amar gives him a special shot to keep him from getting other serious illnesses that could hurt him. James, sit on mommy's knee and read this book while I give you a shot. All finished. You were such a brave boy. In the afternoon, Dr. Amar sees about 15 more people in his office. Salma has itchy eczema on her arms that she cannot stop itching. Peter has a terrible earache. He's going to need some special medicine too. Brad has a rash, maybe a, something outside rubbed into him. Susie has a tickly cough. Finally, Dr. Amar sees Tom. He's banged his thumb with a hammer. It's very, very red and swollen. Dr. Amar cleans his thumb and wraps it in a bandage. Come back to see me if the swelling does not go down in a few days. Thanks, doctor. No problem. Be more careful next time with that hammer, said Dr. Amar. That is all about the doctor today at Pied Piper School. See you soon.